In this video, we are going to talk about prime editing, a recent yet innovative and exciting development in gene editing. In October of 2019, scientists at the Broad Institute of Harvard and MIT developed the system of prime editing. In simpler terms, it can be described as the search and replace technique. In prime editing, we have three main components. First, there's the Cas9 enzyme, which we saw in CRISPR. There's the reverse transcriptase enzyme, and we also have a guide RNA. Now we will explain the role of each one in further detail. So first, we have the Cas9 enzyme, which still functions as a molecular scissors. However, it only cuts one strand of DNA as opposed to both strands. Second, we have the reverse transcriptase enzyme, which reads the RNA, uses RNA as a template, and creates DNA which is complementary to this RNA strand. The third part is the guide RNA or PEG RNA, which stands for prime editing guide RNA. The PEG RNA acts as a navigator, navigating the complex to the target DNA in the genome. So now, as you can see, we have all three components set up. Next, the PEG RNA comes and forms a complex with the Cas9 enzyme and the reverse transcriptase. After the PEG RNA brings the complex to the target sequence, the Cas9 enzyme comes and nicks the DNA. The PEG RNA has two distinct pieces to it, similar to the guide RNA we saw in the CRISPR-Cas9 system. One piece is the complementary sequence, which goes and binds to the nicked DNA. The second piece is the RNA sequence, which codes for the new edit. First transcriptase then reads the RNA sequence on the PEG RNA, which is the green strand, and then reverse transcribes the corresponding nucleotides to create a DNA sequence, the purple strand. The purple sequence is then appended where the DNA is nicked, which is where the gap is in the black strand. But now, there's one portion of the DNA strand which is edited and another which is not edited. But we want this portion to be edited, so how will we do that? The molecular scissors cuts the unedited strand out. How do we do this? A guide RNA comes and guides the enzyme to make a cut at the new target DNA sequence, the unedited strand. The edited strand now serves as a template which codes for a complementary strand. The complementary strand is then produced, and both strands are now edited. The search and replace system is now complete. We hope that this video helped. Now be sure to like, share, comment below, and subscribe to our channel.